Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's discussion, we are going to see about referred pain. So this will be of the continuation of the sensory system discussion, wherein we are discussing about the nociceptors and pain. Out of this, today's discussion is about referred pain. So first of all, what is referred pain? We are going to discuss about it. Then theories of referred pain and we are going to discuss two important terms that is hyperalgesia and allodynia. So let's get into the discussion. So what is referred pain? Referred pain is one pain wherein the original problem will be in the visceral organs and this pain is referred to the surface of the body that is called as referred pain. It can otherwise be described as the irritation of the visceral organ frequently they produce a pain that is felt at the site which is usually away from the original organ and this area will have the pain. Uh, but the original problem will be in some other viscera. So this kind of pain is called as referred pain. So coming to the theories of referred pain, there is usually four theories given for this referred pain. They are dermatomal theory, then convergence projection theory, then facilitation theory and experience theory. Out of this, the first two are of very great significance because they are very widely accepted. The other two are getting some significance these days. So coming to the dermatomal theory, the dermatomal theory is pretty simple. The pain that is in the viscera is referred to the area wherever it is having a similar embryonic origin. So basically both the viscera as well as the surface of the body are having a similar embryonic origin and such that the pain here is transferred to that region. So the classical examples are in myocardial infarction, we see that the inner aspect of the arm is also having a pain. So this is because they have a similar embryonic origin and other such areas are the pain in the gallbladder is usually referred to the region in the tip of the right shoulder. So these are some classical examples of the referred pain which is due to dermatomal theory. Now coming to the second theory that is convergence projection theory. This is very interesting theory. Here what is happening is the somatic structure as well as the visceral structure. For example, let's take the viscera's kidney and some the somatic region in the abdominal region. What they do is their afferents are going towards the same spinal cord region. They are going towards the same spinal cord region and what they have in common is they converge in the same second order neuron. The fibers carrying faint for the visceral as well as the somatic area are converging to the same second order neuron. Because of this what happens is once they reach the brain now the brain is not able to differentiate which from which area the original brain is originating. So what the brain does, it will create a painful sensation that this region is having a pain. So it will facilitate it. So what is happening is, it, here it is converging to one area and the brain is facilitating the pain to the other region. In convergence projection theory, the brain, the cortex is not able to exactly pinpoint the location or site of origin of the pain. So that is the issue here. So coming to the other theory that is facilitation theory. This facilitation theory is very similar to that of the convergence theory except here the pain from the somatic region is facilitated by some movements in the visceral region. Why? Because they are converging to the same second order neurons in the spinal cord. So what is happening here, the pain from the somatic structure, the pain might be really from the somatic structure, but it is usually facilitated by some movements in the visceral region also because their convergence is to the same spinal cord neurons. Now coming to the experience theory, this is not a very popular theory, but what is that happening here? The patient might relate this pain to some other previous experience. The classical examples are there is inflammation of the abdominal viscera. The usually patient refers to the previous surgical scar like an appendicitis scar and other surgical area scar. And one another classical example is the women who have undergone spinal anesthesia during pregnancy. What they will say is they whatever back pain they have, it is usually associated to the spinal anesthesia that is given long, long before. Maybe 10 years before also they would have got a delivery. But still they will be blaming the anesthetic area for the pain they are having long after the surgery is done. Coming to the two terms that is hyperalgesia and allodynia. The term hyper means exaggerated response. So if somebody is having an exaggerated response, to a painful stimuli, then that is called hyperalgesia. Allodynia means it is the sensation of pain to non-noxious stimulus. What is happening here? 
here the, there might be a simple non noxious stimuli like taking a hot water bath will induce a pain in a patient of sunburn so this is one of the classical examples which all of us would have experienced when we travel to places like goa here the original stimulus is hot bath which is not a noxious stimulus but it is creating a painful sensation because of the underlying conditions that's why these conditions are referred as allodynia i hope it's clear thank you for listening if you like the video share it with your friends thank you so much